I've probably said this about like a million places in this game, but I would love to live in Keldic. Hey everybody, welcome back to more Legend of Hero Trails of Cold Steel 2. Um, so I'm at some last time, we talked to all of the generic NPCs and went over the brief synopses of the bonding events we will not be doing. And this time, we'll be actually doing some bonding events. And we're going to start off at the Weathercock Inn by talking to our instructor, Sarah. Ah, Keldic really knows how to make it. How to brew a damn good beer. I should have known I'd find you here. Still, hard to argue she hasn't earned it, this time anyway. She seemed preoccupied the whole time we were at the Twin Dragons Bridge, too. What's with that stare? Eh, nothing much. Just be careful you don't get, end up getting so smashed when you end up getting left behind you, okay? Don't you worry, I'm an instructor. I'd never be caught that unawares. And besides, I have years of practice. Oh, maybe I should haul a few barrels of beer on board for when you know, pick me up. Well, denied. We're student-run airship. You can't just haul whole kegs of booze on board. Oh, Killjoy. Should I stay with her for a breath? I'm a little concerned about her. Fair, also unrelated. I hate the word unawares. Well, just in case, I think I'm gonna stay with you for a little while. I'm afraid to say I wouldn't put it past you to drink yourself under the table and somehow get left behind here. Oh, come on. You can at least rummage up a little good faith in your instructor. <laughs> oh, well, I can't say mine having good company. Margo, mug of your best lager for my student. He would be fantastic, thanks. Yeah, boy, that hit the spot. Beer me again, Margo. Already? Why are you chugging those down kind of fast? Yeah, no problem. One quick snooze to counter the booze is all I need. Don't worry, Reen. It serves a relatively harmless drunk. She'll drink away, have some fun, pass out for a while, and then wake up in tip-top shape. That's why most people tend to let her drink as she pleases. I've never seen causes of that much trouble while drunk, actually. Glad we're all on board with my drink, and then, hey, where's that refill? Sorry, but we're all out. Say it ain't so! It's hard to get a steady supply nowadays thanks to the sad state of the Grand Market. Went all out today as well since it's a special occasion, but I'm afraid yours was the last one. You might be able to get your hands on some if you head over to the Grand Market, though. Oh, baby, fortune's on my side after all! Hey, Rena, got a little job for you. Join me in my quest to acquire booze. Allow me to respectfully decline. Oh, you're really gonna make a drunk carry on stuff on her own? Pretty please, with a cherry on top? Keep our seats, Margaret. We'll be right back. Maybe I shouldn't have said anything. Oh, I'll buy a barrel or two and I'll pay for it later. Roger. We're really doing this? Despite Rena's objections, he was dragged to the Grand Market against his will. After finding and buying some barrels of Kelly's special brew, the floor boy was then for. <clears throat> Asked politely to carry them all the way back. Are these filled with concrete or something? Aw, oh, come on, man up already. We gotta hurry so I can get back to drinking. Sorry, but I need a minute to catch my breath. Your love for alcohol never ceases to amaze. Master Kafai and Dad are the same way, but they're older. I don't think alcoholism is, is as common to people as young as you. <laughs> you really know how to flatter a lady, mister. I'm kinda surprised I came to like it this much myself, actually. I only ever got this way because I was copying someone else at first. Oh, would you mind if I asked who you were copying? A certain gentleman to whom I own a fair amount. He's the type of person who'd fit right in an empty bar, swirling his bourbon oh so tenderly. I couldn't help but look up to the image, which is how it all started. Hmm. Oops, this probably isn't a conversation to be having with one of my students, huh? Just uh, try to forget I said anything. It's nothing that important anyway. Well, it's not often I get to hear you talk about these things. I have to ask, though, is this where your fondness for a classy gentleman originated from? <laughs> Who knows? I'll let you figure that one out. More importantly, though, get back to carrying. I can feel myself sobering up here. Not it, fair madam. After carrying the barrels back, Reed was forced to bear witness to yet another intense drinking session. I love Sarah as a character. She is delightly dysfunctional. But for that... We get, uh, it's actually part of class 7 members. A gentleman who loves alcohol behind him, and she tried copying a gentleman to whom she owes a lot. We did already talk about. I'm good at words. We did already talk about Laura's. We're not going to be viewing it because it doesn't get us anything. Nor are we talking to Elisa, or Alfin, or Gaius for that matter. Our next stop on our journey is Elliot. So I'm gonna leave the feeling of safe and sound. I shouldn't have to worry about her as long as she's the dad either. Yeah, there's no guarantee she won't run into danger in the future, but next to her dad's a pretty safe place to be. 
I'm just glad everything worked out in the end. It wouldn't have, it wouldn't have been not for you and Valmar, though. And the rest of our classmates, of course. It won't be easy to pay you, but I'm sure to help out as best I can. Come on, we've been through enough that you don't have to worry about repaying. Just take some time to rest for now. Oh, I know. While I'm here, I might as well go listen to that fiddle player. I probably won't get a better chance than right now, right? Oh, are you coming too? Sure, might as well. That wide open area over there looks like it'd make for a good listening spot. Shall we? We shall. Not bad, we man. Yeah, music like that is perfect for our grand market. And I'm all jazzed up to work twice as hard. Thank you, thank you. Please note that the hat is open to donations. Oh, this is good. <laughs> the performance was something else. Yeah, even I could tell just how good it was. These have lifted everyone's spirits here in the market a little, too. You're right. It really is incredible how something so simple can put people's minds at ease. Music really does hold its own unique power, doesn't it? And I'd have to agree with that. Cuts like this one, even our own, make me realize how amazing music could be. Ooh, sorry about that. Yeah, I feel like it's that, that fact sinking in for me all over again. There are things that music can do that military forces can. It's like how there are things we can do that no one else can. This group of is as good an example as any of that. Exactly. Whenever we're feeling down, we just have to remember that we've got our own role to play in all this. I'll keep trying to find it while doing all we can to bring, it, uh, bring this conflict to an end. Yeah. Very simple one, not much to it, but it is still nice. And for that we get music's power. Seeing the traveling musician Andre raising people's spirits with his music reaffirmed music's power in his mind. I believe the song that Andre plays does not appear on any versions of the soundtrack. Oh, which is kind of shame, because I like it. I spoke with the market manager, and he agreed to let us use some of the stuff from the stalls that have closed down. I normally wouldn't have asked, but George said he needed materials for repairing the ship. When you're acting captain, you've got all, you've got to work with what you're given. I can take half of that for you. That trash should probably take more than half. So it's probably as heavy as you are. No way you should be carrying it all on your own. Well, if you're sure. Oh, since you volunteered, mind doing something else for me, too. There's a bunch of unusable stuff here that I thought I'd take for myself, so if you won't mind... I'm gonna drag this junk for you somewhere too. If you think you can turn it into something useful, then sure. We can chiefly help Tosar all the useful items from the unusable items, and together, two of them carried anything worthwhile back to the ship, and after that, they took the unusable stuff to the highway. There we go, all ready. This looks like a setup you see on a firing range. Uh huh, that's exactly what it is. This is the perfect opportunity for you to get some practice in. And you know what they say there's no time like the present. Practice? What kind of practice? Just watch. It's a marble gun, isn't it? Pretty big one at that. It sounds like your standard rhyme for production, though. It's because it was made at the ZCF in McGraw, apparently. It's a for your average orbital gun that shoots art based bullets. I guess the easiest way to understand is to think of it as an orbital staff, but like, in the shape of a gun. First, our Arcus units, now this. Technology continues to impress. I had no idea ZCF was even producing stuff like this. Prince Oliver gave it to you, didn't he? Yep, right before he parted ways with us. It's a prototype, too, so normally one, uh, only people involved in this development would be able to get their hands on one. And the Prince must have some connections with the ZCF. Lucky us. I bet at least he'd be surprised to hear about this. Well, it is a totally new invention. I thought I'd be okay, uh, he, I thought I'd be okay with it because of my experience using regular orbital guns at the Academy, but it turns out I was wrong. So, would you mind helping me out with my target practice, Reed? Not at all. Guess what brought all this on, though? We're already the best back we could ask for. It seems odd for you to be taking up a weapon now. I was actually a bit perplexed myself when he handed this to me, but I think he realized that I've been worried about my own lack of strength lately. You have? Sorry, I didn't even notice. Oh, it's okay. It's just I've been tasked with looking after the courageous. I can't rely on everyone protecting me forever. And this isn't just some minor clash that's swept in either. This is a full-on war in every sense of the word. If I can't look after myself, I'm just gonna end up being a burden. It's the last thing I want, so... Can you see I wanna become strong enough to protect myself? It's really been weighing you down, hasn't it? It's not just that, either. Like on our side, specifically chose me to succeed him. He's trusting me to fill his shoes. To me, that means my duty to him capable of supporting everyone on the Courageous. Well, that's more than enough reason to convince me. 
If you got your heart set on this, then I'll gladly help you out. Let's become stronger together, Toa, along with the rest of the courageous. Yeah. She may be small, but I don't know anyone who else who works half as hard as she does. I'll do what I can for her sake, too. After joining your practice for a while, we leisurely walk Toa back to town. If it wasn't for the chemistry that Rina and Elisa had, I definitely would be choosing Toa as best girl. I mean, character-wise, I still probably think that, because Elisa's not exactly... I mean, she's a good character, don't get me wrong, but I mean, there's other characters that are better, and Toa is one of those. I love Toa as a character. She is just so precious. Toa, Arts Coach is giving an Arts Gun at ZCF by Prince Oliver, and is now secretly working on improving her skill with it. Next stop on the journey is Yusis. The provincial army routed, pieces finally returned to this town. It may only be temporary, but for now, it's something worthy of celebration. I'm really uncomfortable to be here. Not that I can blame him. Hey, Yusis, what do you say you walk around the market for? It should be pretty fun since they're finally getting it back together. What about this song? Who cares? Come on, let's go! That we dragged the reluctant uses of the Grand Market. This is the first time I've been to Keldix Grand Market. Really? That's a surprise. I guess you've never had the chance to come here during any of our field studies. Well, maybe part of the Croyzen province. I rarely visited Keldix itself. In fact, I hardly left the Berea hard area before entering Thor's. Well, that's all the more reason to make the most of our time here, right? Gano Shaman isn't nearly as bustling as it was the last time we were here. Maybe I should head back to the Croyzen after. Alright, lads, how's it keeping? Oh, it's Beck's dad. How are you, sir? That's been a while. Heard you lot did some real work at the Twin Dragons Bridge. We actually got some nice fresh apples this morning, so here. Fancy a wee try? No worries, either. It's on me. Think of it as celebrating Keldic's freedom. Well, for offering, thanks. That's the best part about Keldic. I get to make over-the-top bad scottish slash irish accents. They're the same if you're bad enough. How exactly does one eat this? Just take a bite into it. It's fresh, too, so it'll taste better than the store-bought kind. You're right. The juiciness enhances its flavor as well. Good to hear, good to hear. And just to be sure, you're too cabareous, son, right? And you? Not need to panic, wee man. I've just heard rumors about you and your bro is all. You say the youngest brother's a bit unfriendly, but always the kind wee kid, uh, but always kind to wee kids and the like. Then there's the eldest brother, who's so skilled he's the one, one of the reasons the Noble Alliance has been doing so well in this war. Certainly true. Well, I can't deny that most of us at the Grand Market aren't exactly fond of Dukabarea. But at the same time, I'm not silly, uh, I'm not nearly silly enough to hold some grudge against you just because you're a son. Pretty sure the same applies to everyone else, too. It's a relief to hear you say that. Thank you so much. No bother. I'd hate to see him not have a good time with his all. So I wasn't expecting that. After everything that's happened here because of my father's influence, I had thought to hang my head a little, but I would have thought I'd be accepted so readily. It's not all that complicated, you know. In the end, you're only tied to the Duke is through your blood, right? So just be yourself, Yusis. Be proud of who you are, like you usually are. I really haven't been myself recently, have I? Not if you're, not if you're giving me these pep talks like these, Rina. You're right. I should take this time to prepare for our future outings rather than wasted work for nothing. Good to hear. Bond with Yusis strengthened. You can tell that we haven't used Yusis much. And our final one is with Emma. Why am I hitting the town, Emma? Oh, hello, Reed. Something like that. I was going to take a little walk over to Lunaria Nature Park. No? This won't have anything to do with Selena and I sensing the higher elements last time we were there, would it? Yes, after she told me all about it. I thought it might be a good idea for me to go and take a look for myself. It shouldn't be too much trouble for me. The monsters around there aren't especially challenging. I'm more than happy you'll be able to take care of those yourself, but would you be opposed to some company? I'd like to see how the park is doing now myself. By all means, I'd be happy to have your company. Well then, shall we? My Toa voice I'm pretty confident with. Not so much with, like, Emma or Sarah. The other reading now is to step down to the highway and walk to the park. Mm, something certainly is out of balance here. It makes sense the presence of the higher elements as well. Fortunately, their effect seems to be limited to within the park itself. You don't think there could be a cryptid here like the Hangman Castle, do you? Well, I don't sense one now. 
The higher elements are only present in the park itself, so I think they're here as a result of the chaos in Herbonio, particularly because this area is so close to a spirit vein. But I can't offer any guarantees that the surrounding area won't be affected in the future, though. Emma? I'm sorry, I was wondering if I might be able to calm things down a little. I think I'll try, at least. Please step away. Oh, spirit fame, calm the chaos of this land by the guidance of my mana. Any luck? No, unfortunately not. As I feared my power simply isn't enough to quell a disturbance of this magnitude. And Selene's assistance won't help me do any better. Oh, well, at least you tried. Something wrong? I was just thinking. I bet Vito would be able to do it. With the amount of power she has, she'd be able to handle something like this without even trying. Oh, right. I've always been following behind her, desperately trying to catch up. I've always admired the incredible talent she has as a witch. Um, admiration isn't quite it. The truth is I've always had an inferiority complex when it comes to her. I'm always comparing myself to her, I'm always reminded how lacking I am in comparison. I'm sorry, you end up with a weak witch like me instead of a competent one like her. If only I were stronger. As I am, there's no way I'll ever be able to catch up to her. I keep saying always, Emma. No one's born with the ability to do everything perfectly from the start. Just like with my swordsmanship, there's always going to be someone who has more experience. So rather than beat, some, uh, beat yourself up for not matching up, you should take it one step at a time instead. One step at a time. Yeah, we'll all be there doing the same thing with you. And gradually, bit by bit, we'll all become more experienced and skilled at what we do. It's not something you can do overnight, but one day, you'll be able to catch up with her. I suppose you're right. All I can do for now is focus on the tasks at hand, and hope that will get us closer. I think I'm just feeling a little impatient and frustrated. Don't mind me. I don't mind at all, really. We all get that way sometimes. Anyway, we've all come- we've come all this way to the park. Wanna walk around and relax some? It sounds lovely. And I'm gonna enjoy some quality time relaxing and admiring the area around the Lunar Nature Park before eventually returning to Celtic. Get up to length level 4 where we get cover and auto charge. Thank you for the encouraging words, Reed. I think you're right too. All I can do is take things step by step and hope that doing so eventually leads us to our goal. The more impatient I get, the harder it will be for me to keep advancing. Just gonna talk to everyone one more time. With all the provincial army has done, I won't blame the people of Keldic for hating me. I'm surprised to see such is not a case. I wish I could sell the, show this to my father and my brother. Just look at that windmill off in the distance. Amazing, aren't they? I wonder what people uh, what led people to think of harvesting the wind's blessings like that. Perhaps the wind's reason this mar uh, perhaps the wind's the reason this market's merchants are as resilient as they are. Well, Running better than the ones in Sword and Shield, that's for sure. And not Sword and Shield, uh, Scarlet and Violet. I can't look. It's like I've been reminded of the power of music all over again. As long as this war is going on, I want to find a way to make people's lives better. Oh, uh, forgot. Uh, Usus, warm up. We thought you'd be headed in Celtic after the bridge. All the provincial army did there, but was actually welcomed warmly. And Emma. Complex. She both admired and felt an inferiority complex towards Vita, but she resolves to start taking things a step at a time. I almost forgot that. Thanks for helping with all that. I feel like I still need a lot more practice before I can be of any use in a fight, but I'll keep at it. And at the very least, I want to get strong enough to protect myself so I don't slow anyone down in battle. I love Toa. She is just so cheerful, and I wish I had the work ethic that she does. Or even like a portion of- I do not have a good work ethic at all. <laughs> it's pretty bad. Hmm, you're in your school uniform. What's the occasion? I wanted to come along to give my regards to the market manager, so I'm using this as my secret disguise. Putting this on reminds me of back when we first met at St. Estrella. Samira, it really suits you. I'm just saying, I can't help but wonder if Elise is alright. Mm, I have a question, Ian. What's on your mind? On second thought, never mind. And of course, if you do the bonding event, at that point, you'd be like, oh, what is it? You can tell me anyways, and then you would look good. Not hard to get a little nostalgic being back here, isn't it? I think back in all those requests we did, and the whole mess with the Grand Market last time we were here. But none of us ever thought things would get this crazy back then. Oh well, I'm sensing you strolled down memory lane when I could actually walk around and look at things here. That's valid enough, I suppose. 
I'm almost shocked that it was the name's maintenance, so I finally decided to bite the bullet and have someone take a look at it. I'll be staying right here until I get it back, but once I do, I want to go out and have thanks to me. Everything the townsfolk did for us by letting us hide out here, I want them to know their kindness wasn't taken for granted. It's exactly what you do in his bonding event. How convenient. It's almost like there's a segue into the bonding events. It's been quite some time since we were last here, but no matter how long I'm away, I don't think I'll ever be able to... I don't think I'll ever be able to divorce this place from my members of our fields. I say that again. We had no idea what we were in for back then, did we? We've really grown a lot. That we have. We owe our transformation experiences we've shared and the people who have supported us along the way. Be careful not to forget the debt of gratitude we owe to each and every one. And our final person to talk to is Milliam. Apparently they're gonna hold a Sunday school class right here really soon. They did all those things with the chapel and Trusted too, right? Oh man, this is so cool. What are they like anyway? Ever recently, like, you ever been to Sunday school? No sir! -y. Don't feel like you missed out on anything either. Even if you hear about kids getting educated, it does make me think about the academy all over again. Indeed. And while we are over the 20-minute mark, um, I mean, we're, we're about to get a end of chapter, so... Yeah. Um... We should have everything, so we're fine. But, with that, I head out to the East Highway. Just in time for us to leave. We can head back now. Leaving so soon? You're... <laughs> I see you remember me after all. That's quite the honor, Reen Schwarzer. Just who in the world are you? I'm aware how you've been supporting both us and Major Nightheart from the shadows, but you're a little too suspicious for your own good. Why do you know my name? What exactly are you trying to accomplish? <laughs> There's no need to be hasty. But the time has finally come for me to reveal my true identity to you. <laughs> Ta-da! Tis I, Thomas, your favorite instructor! What? It's certainly been a while since you've enjoyed the bliss of one of my enthralling lessons, hasn't it? I trust you've been doing well. But why are you of all people here? Wait, no, the better question is, why were you in disguise in the first place? An excellent question. And fortunately, one with a simple answer as well. You see, I simply wanted to avoid any trouble that might arise if anyone were to place me as one of Thor's instructors. I must be a master of disguise, because it worked so well that no one ever suspected me. Uh, uh, I think I need a minute to process all of this. So you're the one who helped us back at the Twin Dragon's Bridge? Indeed, twas I. My goal was to aid you as covertly as I could manage. But there's no need to lurk in the shadows any longer. I pledge my support, my life, my love. From now on, you can sleep easier at night knowing I'll be right there. It, isn't this all a bit sudden? Oh, I suppose it will be helpful to have another instructor on board. After gladly welcoming the new allies on board, Green and the rest of Class 7 took flight once again to assess the situation in Arabonia. <laughs> well done! With 36 points, we get an S grade. Very nice. Oh my, this ship is simply spectacular! There's something to captivate the eye at every turn! I've been dying to board the Kratos for quite some time, so being here now is a dream come true! Oh, right. And all my dreams were dashed the second I learned the suspicious man turned out to be instructor Thomas. I know how you feel. 
Or for a super cool action hero. I don't know, he's always come across as an airhead to me, but maybe there's more to him than I thought. Instructor, hey, what exactly made you leave Trista? Actually, it was Principal Van Dyck! He wanted me to look out for all the students who had fled the academy. Make sure they're all right, covertly lend them a hand if they were in a pickle, that sort of thing! Really? You know, it was through the principal that George and I were able to reunite with everyone, too. The more time goes on, the more people we realize have been moving out for this. Tell me about it. There's so much to be thankful for. Make sure you never forget that. Regardless, now we're taking care of things at the Twin Dragons Bridge. I propose we resume traveling around and gathering information. Works for me. Thanks to our operation being a complete success, we should be able to land at Celtic and the bridge, too. So, like you said, let's get back to gathering information and helping out those in need. You got any more requests for us to knock out? Yep. Prince Albert sent some uh, along some more, so feel free to take a look. I could have sworn we would get an end of chapter, but that's fine. We can just send things off after this. Creeping for creeps! The Elder Bath uh, has been host to a variety of strange things. Getting warmed up. And somehow I'll make a mech out of you. We got all kinds of different ones this time. So I was like starting to see one from Major Nightheart. Such one involving Valimor. What anybody wants? I'm sure he'll elaborate once we're there. If we can take care about that in the examination uh, extermination request, we should be okay. It's gonna look like so much fun! Can I come this time? Can I? You do know this isn't a game, right? I don't know if she can hold her own in a fight. Or she can't hold her own in a fight. Why not? Anyway, let's get started. Required party member is Milliam. Uh, let's bring along our underleveled people. Sense. Now stop. Uh, okay, I will get to this next time. Uh, that'll be fun. Yeah, 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 yeah. But that will be it for this time. Um, so next time we will be returning to our exploration of the ship because people are gonna have new dialogue. Yeah. But until then, see you guys later.